Oh, hello everyone. This is Blaze Driscoll coming to you from Spring Lake with another episode of Under the Hood. Today, I want to talk about how to make your Mac function a lot like Outlook, perhaps, or any other single type uh, um, program to keep track of. Let's, let's go there now. You want to keep track of your calendar your mail, your things to do today, and your address book. Put them in all in one place that is usable. So let's start with something that uh, uh, makes sense here. First of all, I'm doing a three finger swipe. It was kind of tricky to get this camera set up so you can see how I'm doing three fingers. And I'm swiping between these different desktops. Now you can go into what's called a hot corner. I'm going to show you a hot corner. I'm going down into this lower corner right down here. Hot corner. And you can see my four different desktops. You can set all that up any way you want, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to show you how I set mine up. I have desktop one as just, this is the inner workings of the computer, file management, updates, applications, that sort of thing. Two is where I do most of my work. This is where I'm keeping track of my emails, my calendar, um, my address book, and also Mac has reminders and notes. I put them all in the same place as things, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Three is where I do any, you know, I'm doing this video obviously, but if I were doing any kind of video or audio editing, that's going to be in three. And four is where I do my research and my outside contacts. So I have Safari and I have Firefox both open. These are programs that I use to go outside of my intranet, my home, my home network. Okay, let's uh, look at why I have these programs set up the way they do. As you can see, they all overlap. They each have their own little nifty quadrant, which allows me to drag and drop from each of them. What's interesting about setting it up like this, Mac was a little bit tougher to set up a while back. But you can grab any one of these corners. You can see my mouse down here. I'm grabbing it. And you can make it go in either direction. And that's what you got to do to set it up. It's going to be a little bit painstaking at first to make it all happen. You can grab them and move them. But once you have it set up, and what I suggest is that you leave a little desktop space some places so that you can drag and drop things to your desktop. And you know which desktop you're on if these are closed. But I can easily be working in all of these programs at once without having, I know which quadrant of the screen that they are in. And this is a terrific feature that, that Mac has made possible with their recent Lion update. Um, the other thing that they do now is what's called full screen. Uh, I'll give you an example of that. Here's my full screen. Everything goes full screen. Uh, the idea is to focus and concentrate more on that particular program that you're working on. Perhaps it's your mail. I know my mail is down here. I'm going to go full screen in my mail. As you can see over here, you now see uh, what was previously hidden with where all your files are. I'm going to go ahead and close that back down again. Now the same thing will happen if you use the, like the red dots. You have the dots, the red, yellow, and green dot. If I close this, the program is still open and running in the background. It's just gone off of my screen. If I open it again, it's always going to open in exactly the same place. That's what makes this feature so functionable. Now obviously I'm testing out reminders and notes because that's a new feature and I'm still using things so I just put them all on top of one another. If I'm going to use iCal, there's iCal, I think it's uh, not quite as attractive, but it fits right in there in the same way as my BusyCal does. And if I want to show my emails, you know, it took me a little while to get this set up, but once I got comfortable with always knowing my email, my address book, my things to do, and my calendar are going to be right on the exact same page all the time in the same place, it became extremely easy for me to become more uh, uh, functional. Now, this is not a CRM. It's not a contact management pro program. If you want a CRM I, I, and you're on Mac, I highly recommend just going to offline as much as I did not want to do that. 
I have personally tried every um, on board, if you will, um, CRM type program for a Mac, and, and there is nothing out there that's gonna, nothing that's gonna help you, nothing that plays really well with Apple Address Book and um, now Apple Reminders. In fact, uh, things just discontinued playing nice with, um, with Reminders just today which I am disappointed with. Anyway, uh, the important thing is to know that you can set these screens up any way that you want, which makes them much more easy to be organized and functioning more like one single program rather than four separate programs. Anyway, this is Blaze Driscoll. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Under the Hood.